everyone. Welcome to the Junkyard. This is another episode. D C U T V. Yes. Okay, just got done watching Arrow. Uh, it is mind blowing, I think. Tyler is going to freak out when he finds this out. Here's the thing. Felicity got caught by D. Well, everybody's doing their own damn thing. Mad Dog's got a gym. John's in Argus. Uh, the new Black Canary. I can't. Diana Dane. The high. Whatever her name is, is now the chief of police. Um. Black Siren, I guess her name is. Laura Lance is the head district attorney. You know. But, uh. Oliver's in still in prison. Felicity works at a coffee shop. I wonder if it's their former jitters. But anyway. Oliver, uh, is in prison. They're trying to get him to fight and everything, and he won't do it. He even let a kid get his butt kicked. Uh, and then Diaz found Felicity and their son, William, and Felicity started kicking some ass. Uh, but they started beating up Oliver at the same time in the prison. And then when they finally got Oliver down, this big tall guy said, Hey, uh, Diaz wants to let you know, found your wife and she's dead. No. Argus came and saved her at the last minute. She's sending William to a school somewhere so he'd be safe. But then, uh, uh, oh god, I lost my train of thought. Give me a minute. Uh, oh yeah, um, uh, well, Felicity came and told him, hey, I'm saved, da, 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 all this. So, Oliver was marking on the walls how many days, and then when he got back, he just wiped it off. And went in there, went to the yard, and started kicking some ass. And the guy who told him that his wife was dead, he said, you should have killed me. But then, you know, during all this, they were showing, you know, this new green arrow. Uh, you know, doing what Oliver did in season one. Got a book and everything. Well, they were doing, you know, cut scenes, and I thought it was, you know, like they did was past. But no, they did a future. Well, Roy was on the island, an island. I don't know if it's the same island that blew up. Could have been, but... And it seems like William went there to get Roy. Because Felicity, before he sent him away, gave him that stone that uh, he, Oliver gave to his sister, and her sister gave it to Felicity, and Felicity gave it to him. So, I don't know if they're doing a Roy from the future coming to the past. It looks like they're going season one arrow combined with season two of the Flash? Time traveling? Just don't know.
But it was a pretty pretty good movie. Well, not movie, but show. I liked it. I've kind of noticed that CW is doing a lot of this stuff about uh, their characters in prison after Flash. Well, that's it. Uh, next. Speaking of Flash, that's next. So, see you after that. Okay, hello everybody. I am here with Tyler now. We just got done watching The Flash. Uh, what do you say? I liked it. Okay, uh, they told the reason why, uh, Iris is want not Iris, but, uh, Nora's wanting to stay around her daddy so much because he doesn't return. And... Found out why she's messing up so many times. It's because she's trying to impress her father. Because her father's her hero. But, uh, let's see what else. Barry showed her some of his old training where he messed up. But Barry was sounding like Wells was. Kind of. Yeah, Except so. Less evil. And then at the end, they met the big bad. Saying, Cicada? Cicada. Not Cicada. Yeah. I thought, I thought this whole time was Cicada. It's Cicada. And it ended on a cliffhanger where, uh, you know, Barry asks her, who's that? So... We'll find more stuff out next I mean, week. That's not really a cliffhanger. Yeah. It's, it's the way bad. they ended it. But uh, yeah, I, people were saying this was a filler episode. I don't think it was much a filler episode. It was more of a. <laughs> well, it was a fence. It's fancy. pretty much like. I mean, they met Cicada. Yeah, they're. Training. I mean, God, they can't go straight out and do the stuff like Barry said. You can't skip rails and go straight to the thing to be the best at your first get go. But she did save her daddy's life. Sort of. I don't know. Well, how... Cicada was about to stab Barry. I know, but I don't know why he just walked away. Like, he. We'll, we'll find out more of this stuff next week, and I've been seeing it online. Next week, the title of The Flash is The Death of Vibe. Maybe just because... So, does that mean Cisco's losing their power, his power? That's or, probably what it's going to be. It's, he's or probably not Cisco's going to die. He's probably not going to die. But, you know, they've been teasing Cisco losing his powers. Uh, ever since, uh, uh, you know, season three mm -hmm. with Avatar? Savitar. Savitar. So, okay, that's it. That's our review for The Flash. Uh, next is Black Lightning. So, stay tuned. Okay, everybody, uh, just got done watching Black Lightning. Uh, let's see, uh, I don't know what kind of episode this was. I would love them to get the racists out of it. But, I don't know. I mean, the oldest daughter is showing her rebellion, but that's always the case with sidekicks, ain't it?
I have no earthly ideal what they're trying to do with this show. I mean, it's definitely not like the other CW shows. But, I don't know. I have mixed feelings about this. I mean, this episode was not that good. It's like it's doing a slow, slow start. I'm praying it gets better. Because something tells me this could be the first CW uh, Arrowverse show that's probably going to get canceled in a early season. And Tobias is killing all these people. I wonder what that's all about. I mean, cool thing was Black Lightning did go up against a, a metahuman that had um, control of the wind. So you had element versus element. But then she got zapped and then stuck back in a pod. I don't know. So far, this was the my least favorite. Okay, that's it for my review of Black Lightning. Next is Supergirl. Okay, everybody, just got done watching Supergirl. And here's the weird thing. It was pretty much like a, their version of a Civil War. Uh, John Jones is trying to find his friend, which was dead, got killed in the last season. Supergirl is still on that trip about always finding the good and everything. Really too much. No doubt's a bad. Uh, Brainy's, what you call it, quit working and uh, he was in a pizza place and they tried to beat him up to the new girl that works at Catco. Stopped him and then told him to give him his food. The president stepped down and the vice president now is uh, in charge. And then Agent Liberty had all these people meet up, look like a gym or some kind of club. John was there finding out stuff and that inducer that they use for the uh, Daxamites. Well, they used it on Supergirl. So now Supergirl's got kryptonite poisoned. So. This was a pretty good episode, I think. It's pretty much really comment about racism and stuff, I think. How people quickly wants to judge because somebody's different. But guess what, everybody? We're all the same. Black, blue, green, yellow, white, black, male, female, Outer space or not, we're all the same. Sometimes we wish we're different. But, alright. I like this episode. 
Can't wait to... They didn't have nothing about, uh... The red son, do the daughter, the red daughter, the other Supergirl that's in Russia. Oh, and Jimmy Ellison is uh, pretty much putting his foot on where he stands now since his people got in a fight, well, pulling a prank on each other. They got in a fight in the DEO, and now it's got to separate that. Well, not a fight, but an argument. So, okay, that's this episode of Supergirl. Well, this episode of DCU TV. Uh, we will have Legends on next week, on the next episode. So, get ready for that review. I know this is kind of late. I've been busy. I've been redecorating my room and stuff. This is actually Monday, and I'm fixing to get this fixed and then get it out. So, you know how we roll. Until next time, Junkyard's Clothes. Peace!